Libertarian students can save universities from victimhood culture. That was the claim made by New York University psychologist Jonathan Haidt last week at the International Students for Liberty conference held in Washington, D.C. Universities across the Western world are in trouble. We all started to pay attention when two Yale professors were bullied by students over Halloween costumes. Be quiet! For all students, do you understand that? As your position has mastered, it is your job to call out these but since then, things have gotten a lot worse. Oh, oh, we should start. Yeah. Oh, no. Canadian professor Jordan Peterson has been bullied by students over pronouns. In 2017, the craziness has escalated into property damage and outright violence. For example, at New York University, when rebel commentator Gavin McGuinness recently spoke. And of course, at Berkeley, black masked anti-fascists torched banks, businesses, campus facilities, and they pepper sprayed and smashed poles over the faces of innocent young women. I did that anyway. Like I'm looking to just make a statement by being here, and I think the protesters are doing the same. And props to them for the ones who are doing it non-violently, but I think that's a very rare thing indeed. In case you think the violence which happened at Berkeley was just some outsider troublemakers, be aware that five student op-eds about why violence was justified were published in the Berkeley student newspaper. This series of articles was called Violence as Self-Defense and one of the articles was titled Violence Helped Ensure the Safety of Students. If you were wondering where these students get their persecution ideology from, consider this. Prior to Milo going to Berkeley, 100 faculty members signed a letter demanding that Milo be deplatformed. They argued that his speech would threaten the safety of students. Make no mistake, violence and the justification of it is as uncivilized as it gets. At this point, if victimhood culture on American campuses gets any worse, Universities will be more similar to mental institutions than places of higher learning. And this is a really serious problem. For a long time, the university has been one of the bedrocks of Western civilization. Think of all of the discoveries made in science and medicine. Many of these discoveries have been made on university campuses. To damage universities is to damage our future. So what can you do about this? Well, what needs to happen is certain departments need to be singled out and held to account. Certain academics need to stop being given a free pass for spreading bullshit. Here is just one example. Basically, it's not correct that there is such a thing as biological sex. And I'm a historian of medicine. I can unpack that for you at great length if you want, but in the interest of time, uh, I won't. So that's a very popular misconception. Ask your professors, do you agree with what is being taught in gender studies? Press them on it. Remind them that universities are not a social club. They are meant to be institutions where facts are taught to young people. Make people accountable for what is going on. For too long, no one has taken any responsibility for the destruction of universities from within. If you are at a public university, ask why are taxpayer funds going to gender studies, what value do these disciplines create in the world? If you are a student who does not agree with violence or no platforming, then speak up. Don't be afraid. You are in the right. Be like this guy. This is library. Now take it from me, I took many of these courses as an undergraduate about 10 years ago. I thought the situation would get better over the time, but it clearly hasn't. As today's students, you can do something about it. You can win this battle. You just have to speak up and let your voice be heard. If you would like to see more videos, please subscribe to Rebel Media so you don't miss out on a thing.